Now let's see what new songs and videos have just been released. Award-winning music duo Skooky brought on Olamide for their single titled Over the Mountain. The song was produced by Beam on the Beat. Over the mountain, sir. Over the hills, eh. Over the ocean, nah. Over the sea, eh. I cover the bar, ah. We no go see. Also, Ghanaian duo R2Bs have released a music video collaboration with Nigerian act Davido. The music video titled Boza was produced by Kill Beats and the video was shot in Houston, Texas. Limpopo Krona Casey has also released a video for his latest single Love Boat featuring Tanzanian music star Diamond Platinum. The video for the mid-tempo R&B song was shot in South Africa and directed by Nick Rock. Nollywood act Empress Njama and Shion Akindele star as lead characters in a new romance film Emily K. The movie tells the story of two characters deeply in love but each hiding dark secrets. The movie shot in Abuja, Nigeria was written and directed by Peter Kundum. Isn't that what women love to feel? Getting that much needed attention from their man and knowing that they are always in safe hands. Just like many girls, my dream was to flow in success and happiness and in the end get married to the man of my dreams popular indigenous actress Mosun Filani is back on set filming a new movie after a long break the movie different strokes directed by Damola Olatunji features popular actors like Ibrahim Chata Ronkeo Dusoya There was an administrative shake-up at Chocolate City Music recently, which saw Aldo Mekori step down from his office as CEO, whilst rappers M.I. and Ice Prince assumed positions as chairman and vice president of the label, respectively. Entertainment News had a telephone chat with Aldo Mekori, and he shared with us the reason for stepping down, things he wished he could have achieved, and his expectations from the new leadership. Take a listen. Um, first of all, I think... Um like with any brand or any company, um, you need to refresh, you need to reinvent yourself, and you need to um, re-energize. Um, I've held that position for 10 years. We had specific objectives for what we would achieve with music. And I think uh, we've, we've, we've reached a point where the label is actually at its biggest. Right now, um, we're 15 artists strong. Some of the biggest artists on the, on the continent are from uh, Chocolate City. Um, we're in a strong financial position as well. And um, I wanted to make sure that when I did hand over, uh, when I did hand over the company, it would be in the best shape possible. Um, I would have loved us to be able to produce the first Grammy for Nigeria. Um, um, and I'm sure that we still will do that. Um, but we weren't able to do that within that period. So it's a very, very, uh, it's a very, very uh, tough job. Um, but I'm sure that... Um, this year is more than capable to do that. He's been working with us quite closely as vice president of the Evo for over four years. So I think that he's also learned very closely. He's been a, a huge part of what we've been able to achieve as well. So it is not foreign. It's not only foreign to him. Probably the challenge will be also being able to work too hard at the same time. But the music industry has changed so much so that almost every artist has to wear two hats. You can't, you can't only be an artist, you also have to look at the business side. If you think Zidane Paparella is out of the singing business, well, think again. The singer, songwriter, and music producer has been active in the industry, but now he's ready to take things to a whole new level. Watch this. <laughs> Singer Zidane Paparella entered the Nigerian music industry as part of a group called ZIP before making his own part as a solo artist in the early 2000s. Everybody we need. Let's get together and 
just be alright. From songs like Now You Be the Girl, Nonsense, to recent ones like Crazy Love featuring new generation act Vector, Zidane Paparella has continued to keep his solo career going. But now he says he is ready to inject more energy into his career. The effort would always be there for us to come back. I, I don't even agree with anyone who thinks I left. I never left. You know, there's just this general misconception, you know, with Nigerians, you know, when you don't have the videos coming out every month, then they seem to see they seem to believe that um, you have left the scene. I've always recorded songs, I'm a recording and a performing artist, I've been performing even all this while, you know, funny enough, but um, the videos have not been as forthcoming as, this, as the music has been. In the last one year alone, I've released close to four or five singles, so I've always been very active. I produce to myself, so basically getting the songs out there shouldn't be any problem. Um, but as for videos, yeah, yeah, uh, you could say I've stalled a little bit with that, but Yes, I'm here. I never left, actually. So, <laughs> I'm here. I would say that uh, there's no effort to come back if you never left. I'm here. And with more energy comes a change in style and even appearance, while keeping fans entertained with his versatility. Well, yeah, the change is very constant and um, it's either you evolve, you know, as the trend evolves or you just get kicked out. Um, I am someone who believes in change. I believe in progress because change is a very big part of progress. So one needs to keep evolving. There has been a lot of change. There's been uh, tremendous change for the better with the music, of course, um, the music has um, metamorphosed into what it is today because music in itself has evolved. And then the looks too keep evolving. Um, if you saw me two, three years ago, you notice I didn't have any hair on my head. Um, was uh, <laughs> I used to be a bit fatter, but um, I'm better in shape, trim, fit shape now. Um, yes, um, there, there, there's been a lot of change, you know, good change, you know, positive change that I'm really, really very proud of myself, if I must say. The third album, actually, I've stalled a little bit on that because I'm an objective person. And when you look at the economy, you ask, you begin to wonder, is it really wise or why do we release albums? The, the main objective behind releasing albums were so that, you know, the songs can actually your fans, the listening audience, you know, far and wide, can have your songs in their living room and then you can also recoup, you know, some little money to make up for the expenditure that goes into the music business. But that objective is lost. Um, we have a crisis of colossus in our hands right now. We have, a, it's not even, you can't call it piracy anymore because um, artists these days are paying pirates to pirate their songs. So what are you releasing an album for? Are you going to release an album that you're just going to distribute? Right? Most artists release these albums that um, spend a lot of time on the shelves of these marketers and then at the end of the day they end up giving these albums out for free you know and it's it wasn't as bad when I recorded the song nonsense then and we talked about a lot of these things then we had a face to piracy we could point to a particular location and say the pirates were at this place you know but today everybody's a pirate I mean the artist himself pays people to rob him to steal from him so what am I, why, why would you want to release an album in such a condition or situation where you cannot even get back anything? You can't recoup your capital, spend how much more, even make a little bit more. Nobody, I, I, I'm yet to see anybody who has really sold 100,000 copies in Nigeria in a country where we are almost 200 million. So we got Jolly and Mary and party till six in the morning. Nigeria's entertainment industry has been pegged as one of the fastest growing on the continent. The competition is stiff and the demand for pop music is high. Everybody, everybody sing Um Ram Pam Pam. It's a great song, um, great video, it's a feel-good song. Um, it's basically talking about, you know, celebration. If you know the sound of the trumpet, ram pam pam. I guess that's why Bonnie M used that as a title for his Christmas song, because um, it's a feel-good thing. When you hear the sound of the trumpet, it means something good is about to happen. Um, ram pam pam just talks about a lot of great things, you know, um, the way I'm feeling or the way I was feeling at the moment when I wrote that song. A lot of great things have been happening, all thanks to God Almighty. So I decided to record a song, you know, just to, you know, the message of peace is love, you know, you want to preach peace, 
Preach love. Let people know that when you love each other well, the words will, reduce, will be reduced. So basically, we're talking about peace, love, and self-confidence, loving yourself. Zidane Paparella is confident of his brand of music and is set to deliver more henceforth. That brings us to the end of the show. We'll be on Twitter at channels TV underscore ENT to get your comments. The next edition of Entertainment News on Channels TV promises to be more exciting. So join us same time next week. I'm Maya Wa Ugundele. Till I see you again, stay sharp.